What's up everybody? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. So I'm coming to you with a video about post-college. This video was requested with, by one of my close friends named Maggie. And so I just wanted to hurry up and do this for her before you know it just slipped my mind. So let's get started. When you're in college, you tend to be really busy, at least for me. You know, I was involved with a lot of organizations. I was taking a lot of classes. I also worked. I also volunteered on the weekend, and I was doing tutoring and math. So I was constantly busy. There was not a lot of time to be sedentary and to just think, you're, think and just be bored. However, post-college, I find that I have a lot more time, and a lot more time means a lot more time to be bored. And that's just what it is. Honestly, I feel like I really need a hobby. Like, when did I get so freaking boring? And having a set schedule is completely different from college. You know, like I said, like I was saying earlier, I was really busy, so my schedule was never ever the same every day. It might have been a similar every week, but every day it was not the same. I'd have two classes in a day. I'd have three classes another day. I'd have no class on Friday, no class on Monday. But then I'd have to work or I'd have to be studying for exam. I was constantly, you know, switching up my schedule every single day to accommodate the other days than when I was really busy. It, I mean, during the day when I'm at work, it may vary what I'm doing at work. However, that schedule is the same. Your weekends are free too. Weekends when I was in college and when I was still in school, I spent my weekends doing my homework, studying for exams. My weekends weren't my weekends. When I was first doing computer programming, that was more time for me to computer program. There, it was not like, oh, okay, I'm free now. You know, now I get to have some fun. No, I have spurts. I had spurts of fun in my schedule. When I was at college, I lived with a roommate for the first two years. In the last two years, I lived with apartment mates, so I had my own room and my own bathroom. Thank God, because after my second year, I was like, I, I can't do it. I cannot share a room again. In my first year, I was sharing a room with two roommates. So it just, I really needed my own space. I needed my own space. And I got it, kind of. I got it my third and fourth year. However, post-college, I'm back here at my parents' house as you guys are probably well aware of by now. And this is not my space. I'm back, I'm back in the same room that I grew up in and it's, it's an adjustment. It's, a, it's an adjustment to come back home, be under your parents' roof, you know, have to, you know, kind of co collaborate with them. That's exactly why when I move out, I'm living by myself. No questions asked. I'm not going to be living with anyone else. I'm not. My stress level has completely decreased. Like, I feel like it was up to 100% when I was in college, and now it's down to like 10, sometimes it gets to 20% at most, but that's it. College brought me a lot of stress because I was doing so much, but to me it was good stress. I guess there's no such thing as good stress, but it was good. I was constantly busy, constantly on the go, and it left me stressed out at times because, you know, I had a test the next day. However, I have to plan an event for someone. You know, I'm a part of an organization. I have to go to this meeting. There was a whole bunch of demands that I had. And so with all those demands came a whole bunch of stress. I said this previously in my Lessons Learned College video, how I had breakdowns my very first quarter of college because it was so overwhelming. And definitely as I got, you know, got more into the rhythm of college, it definitely, the stress level came down. However, the stress level compared to now, that was just through the roof. Now, my stress level is definitely a lot more manageable and I'm a lot more at peace. I felt like at college, I was always wound up, you know, always just ready to go. I've been in school most of my life, so my path has pretty much been set out before me. School has been a big majority of my life. That's what was my focus. That's where I met my friends. That's where I learned a lot of lessons. A lot happened when I was still in school. So now that I'm out of school and I don't really have kind of a structure in terms of for high school you have to take certain classes so that you can get into a university you know for middle school you have to pass a certain number of classes so that you can move on to high school same you know you progress and you see there's kind of something mapped out for you 
same thing with college. When you get your degree, there is a certain number of classes you have to take, a certain types of courses, when you have to take these courses, when they're available. But now that I get to I get to choose my career path. I get to choose what steps I want to take to get where I want to go. Nothing is laid out for me. And specifically, I want to get into event planning. That's real. There's really nothing laid out <laughs> into getting into event planning. It's kind of like you can't. There's no set degree that you get for that. There's no set, there's no number of internships that you have to do for that. It's just kind of an open ended field, and I feel like it was scary at first, definitely, because I'm I'm very much a structured person. I like structure. I like knowing where I'm going before I go there. Um, hence being a yellow color. I mean. <laughs> If you know about the true colors, then you know what I mean when I say that I'm a yellow slash gold person. It kind of means that I'm a perfectionist of some sort and I really like structure. Hence my hesitation and my kind of fear when I first stepped out of school, not really having a career plan after that. When I was in college, it was more so about advocating for my black community. So I was very active in my black student union and that meant that I was mostly around other black students and that's different when you're when you're in the workplace it's different for me at least what I noticed more than anything and what just stood out to me was definitely the age gap and I feel like it's more of a priority for me to hang out with someone who's near my age because hey it's just more comfortable for me unlike when I was in college and I wanted to hang around you know mostly black students that's where I felt my comfort now I feel my comfort within people my own age. It's not even about the same sex. If a dude is like, you know, 20 to 30, I'm going to feel more comfortable, you know, hanging out with him, having casual conversation, you know, at work, than someone who's like my father's age and 55. It's just kind of awkward sometimes. It's kind of awkward, you know, it's kind of awkward turtle. Y'all know about this? Y'all know about this life? It's kind of awkward turtle sometimes, yeah, it's kind of awkward. Um. But I can't go to happy hour with a man who's like 55. It's, what is that gonna look like? We know today's culture. It's gonna look like I'm a gold digger and it's just not really, and it's not really comfortable for me. So I mean, the age is very, it's very noticeable and I'm adapting to it. You'll have to adapt to it depending where you work as well. And it's just, it's something different than that thing when you're in college. When you're in college, you're around people who are constantly your your age. I mean, your professors may be, of course, drastically a different age from you, but aside from that, most of the people you're of, on the campus are within four to five years of your age. So, yeah. By my standards, I'm now an adult because to me, an adult is someone who pays their own bills, um, is responsible, works full time, you know, and I have all those components so I'm an adult and it was kind of like when I first thought about it um, I kind of made this definition up when I was still in college and it was just my personal definition I didn't think about much about it and then after graduating college I was kind of just like am I really an adult <laughs> maybe I'm a young adult but by my standards I am and I feel like that definition might have to change a little bit it's just that you know let me let me digress. Let me let me go on a tangent for a second. You know, you'll have grown so so-called adults who are out here don't take care of their children, don't pay their bills, living on their parents' couch without paying rent. I'm living in my parents' house. I'm paying rent, paying for it, paying for all my stuff. Okay. You know, living on their parents' couch for free, not ha don't have a job, aren't doing shit, aren't aspirational aren't trying driven to go anywhere don't really have a reason for being on that couch except for being lazy and in my eyes that's not being adult that's being a child <laughs> that's being very childish so I was like well what's the opposite of those things and hence I came up with the definition that an adult is someone who pays their own bills who's responsible you know and yeah so I guess I'm an adult now that's a very big difference from college where my parents were paying for basically 90% of my things, paying for all my tuition, paying for all that stuff. So I wasn't an adult back then and graduated, got my job, now here I am. Adult time. Next thing is money. I get paid. 
you know, in college, I kind of felt like I was half broke, half had some money. You know, my friends around me were kind of broke. So it was just a different way of living. I couldn't get what I wanted. I could basically get whatever I want at this time. And that's a great feeling to have. It's a great feeling to have to know that I can pay bills, to know that I can actually afford to move out on my own. It's a very great feeling. And that's completely different from college. I, I like to be an independent person. And as I was nearing graduation, I wanted more and more independence from my parents, especially financially. I just feel like I'm a type of person I don't really like having to owe anyone something. And I won't get into too much detail, but it's just I like to be financially independent. I like to have my own stuff, you know, and do things on my own terms. That way I ain't got to collaborate with people, whatever. Nah. With my money and stuff, I want to handle my shit. You get, I'm getting paid. I'm not having to pay the professor to give me a grade. No, my payment is the money. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like the idea of what you can do with your money? I don't think it's so much the money itself, but what I can do with it is absolutely amazing. It's amazing. Also, what I've found working full time is that ordinary people around my age are not usually working at this time they maybe can't find a job they maybe haven't finished um, getting their degrees their masters phd a second bachelor's whatever it may be however i'm an ordinary and when i want to go out on thursday sometimes my closest friends will say hey you know i got a class in the morning i gotta go to work in the morning just stuff that's not that i'm not used to anymore I'm not used to having to study for an exam, so everyone having finals this week, I'm kind of like, right, I guess I'll just sit here bored by myself since you all have to study. And that can be a bit frustrating, but hey, it is what it is. So that's just, you know, a little glimpse of my life post-college. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment below or something else you would like me to rant about because you know it's kind of my thing. Thank you guys for watching. I have new videos every week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to hear more of my rants and random-ish. Also, I have a Facebook page that I will be leaving a link below to. Um, just go ahead and like that and that will give you updates as to when I'll be posting a video and all things that are Lexi D. Bye guys!